Manchester United 2, Chelsea 0, fucking getting it, just, just, just. We've done it, we've got through to the quarter final. Wasn't confident of getting through, but fucking hell, we've done it. We've put in a great performance this evening. 2-0 from the first half. Goals from Ande Herrera and Paul Pogba. And a really fantastic team performance from Manchester United to get us through this tie. I'm really pleased for Manchester United. Paul Pogba, again, providing an assist and a goal. Rashford providing the other one for Pogba. And really, really good for Manchester United, to be honest. I wasn't confident when we had one matter in the team. Lukaku come back into the team and hasn't really taken his chance tonight. But that is being a bit critical because the rest of the team was pretty much... Was pretty much fantastic for Manchester United, getting them two goals in that first half. Chelsea did have a few chances to score in the first half, but Higuain missing some decent openings, his touch wasn't there. Hazard always looking a threat for Chelsea, but going 2-0 up in that first half was really, really brilliant. And second half, Manchester United put a very good defensive performance, and Romero very rarely had much to do in that second half, which was a credit to Manchester United's defence, to be honest and all the team. Chelsea huffed and they puffed but just could not get a breakthrough. The amount of corners Chelsea had in that second half, would, I, I just ca cannot remember the amount and to be honest, really, really pleased with that. The second half, the way it was just petering out was just a joy to watch because it, you could just sit back and relax, to be honest. It was just so good and I can't remember a game like that where at Stamford Bridge where we've won that comfortable in the second half. It just seemed really, really comfortable. It never seemed like Chelsea were ever going to get back into the game. They never really created enough great clear-cut chances in that second half, which was just which was just so pleasing, pleasing for me. Nearly every time when we go to Stamford Bridge, we have it difficult. And we played very, very well earlier in the season, a 2-2 draw away at Stamford Bridge, but we were conceding shitty goals and everything like that. But this team just looks so much better now. So many players that are performing at such a high level and a Herrera being fantastic again. Even Ashley Young didn't have a bad game today. Chris Smalling was okay, was fine at the back. The defence was fine. Lindelof was fine. Paul Pogba obviously being Paul Pogba. It's just, just brilliant. It really was for Manchester United. This is a shadow of the team under Jose Mourinho. I mean, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer got the tactics absolutely spot on. I mean, I was so pissed off that there was no youngsters given the opportunity, but we still did in the second half see Alexis Sanchez come on, we saw Andreas Pereira come on and Scott McTominay come on. And Pereira and McTominay very rarely play, so it's nice to see that they've been given minutes, even though Andreas Pereira probably will move on in the summer, it's still nice that he's been given some minutes in this FA Cup. Now, the draw hasn't been made as of this video, so I'm hoping that Manchester United do get a favourable tie in the next round. It would be better to get a Millwall or a Swansea with the simple fact that we have had two real dog shit draws away at Arsenal and away at Chelsea. It would be so nice for Manchester United just to get an easier draw and hopefully be able to rest a few first team players for some bigger fixtures that we've got on the horizon and worry more about the likes of Liverpool at the weekend and, and Chelsea to come in the league and Arsenal to come in the league because we're out of that Champions League. Let's forget about that Champions League. We're not coming back from that. So we can put all our focus pretty much on the league for the next couple of weeks. And if we've got a lesser team in the FA Cup, maybe, maybe we can be afford to rotate a little bit in order to keep going in the league. Because at this moment in time, Arsenal and Chelsea are both so fucking ropey in the Premier League. And it's great to see that the fucking, these fucking Red Boys are doing so fucking dog shit because Manchester United have got such a good chance at this moment in time to maybe make that top four this season. We're one point ahead of them. Obviously, there's a long way to go. But they've got big games coming up on the rise and like Tottenham in the league. And if they're playing this dog shit, then it does give me give, give me great confidence that Manchester United can make that top four this season. Because you just do not know what you're going to get from Arsenal either. Arsenal are absolute dog shit. So it could be a great end to the season. Could Manchester United potentially get in that top four or maybe even win an FA Cup? I mean, that would be almost your wildest dreams this season from where Manchester United were under Jose Mourinho. If that happened, that would be an absolutely brilliant season for me. OK, it's not up there with winning the league or the Champions League, but it's compared to where we were, I just cannot believe this. This is a far cry from where we were only a few months ago, and it really is putting Oli in great stead to be given the managerial job at Manchester United. This probably was 
the best performance Manchester United have had under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Well, for me, it was the best performance we've had. That Arsenal performance was up there as well, but other performances haven't been quite as good. You're looking at the Tottenham game, that wasn't as good. We had to rely on De Gea a lot, but tonight, this was the best performance out of the lot. I know Chelsea are having problems at the moment, and Sarri will probably get the sack following some games in the next few weeks, but it probably was. We never come here and, and play well. We never have it easy here. And we have tonight, seeing the likes of Hazard walking off the pitch when we've beaten them is so, is so fucking great. Considering what happened in the FA Cup final last year, we had to get our own back on them this season. And we've done that. Get in there. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'm going to go for Herrera being man of the match today. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.